Wyoming, Montana, somewhere out west. Could be up in uh, South Dakota at Box Elder, getting all our uh, domicile information taken care of. Heck, we don't even have to have a motor home to go to South Dakota to do all that. Just to be out there, someplace other than here. You gotta have somewhere to sleep. I've slept in here before. That's true. It's a big, it's a big suburban. But seeing that gentleman pulling off with that Winnebago tour. The very next, we've just been looking at motor homes, and it was the very next one I was fixing to go in and look at. And what happened? It pulled off. The salesman walked out of it, and I'm thinking, oh, he's probably just been in there talking to him, and they're fixing to leave, so I can walk in and, and look at it, and nope. He started it up, and what? Hold on. Hold on. Yep. I want to be that gentleman. Me too. Well, I don't want to be driving it, but I do want to pull it off. So, speaking of being anywhere that you can, Tell them where we're headed to. Oh, well, right now we're heading to Happy Cow. Happy Cow Creamery, down in Pelzer. We go down there and we get uh, fresh milk. It's been uh, low heat pasteurization. It has not been homogenized. It's the best milk you can get. It's a little store down there on a the farm. I mean, the milk's right there. Comes out of the cow, goes in the cooler, and from the cooler to uh, it's what we call it the jugger, the bottler, where they put it in the jugs. They've got chocolate milk, of course it's whole milk. They've got they get buttermilk, they get strawberry milk, they do eggnog that's made with their milk. I don't even like eggnog, but I gotta say their eggnog is amazing. No, they, they even get goat's milk from uh, someone that brings it into them, and it's it's raw goat's milk. Um, they got all kinds of cheeses. They got aged cheddar cheese from one year to what I've seen twenty something in the years that's been aged. They get meat from local farmers. It's probably the closest thing you're going to get to organic meat. Around here. Yeah, we've gotten meat from there before. It's really good. We get yeah. our that's where we get our sausage. Yeah, we get our sausage from there. The meat comes from another farmer that gets boxed up for them. But uh, it's local. It's where we get our soap, our butter, our bread, our from there too. That, the stuff they got there is local. It's locally raised and it's going to be the freshest you can get. Great. So what are we going to do when we get on the road and we can't have happy cow milk? Because it's the only milk that we drink now. What are we going to do? Uh, I guess we'll just have to find the <coughs> Excuse me. Local, local supplier, I guess. Well, you had talked about making an app. I don't know if there's an app out there, but if there's not, there needs to be for people like us that want to get natural stuff. I mean, it's you know, it's hard to find milk that's not been homogenized and, yeah. and uh, high heat pasteurization. Because when you do that, you kill all the, the beneficial nutrients in that when you do the high heat. A lot of the stuff you get in the store, well, the stuff you get in the store, a lot of it, they, they take out the cream. First thing they do when it gets to the dairy is, to the processor, is they take out the cream. And then they put it back in, and that's how you get like your 1% and your 2%. But uh, when you get your whole milk, it doesn't have the amount of cream in it that it had in there when it comes straight from the, the dairy farm. So it's not whole milk in my opinion. Yeah, so what Farmer Tom's son told us 
is you pretty much, if you buy your milk in the store, you pretty much pay for somebody to steal your cream. There you go. <laughs> come with us. Willow likes to see the cows. What do you see, Willow? What is that? She likes the cows. There they are, hanging out there. You know we're going to have to get ice cream today, right? Got our parking place. Yeah. Looks like they're moving. Are they fixing to move? I don't know what them. Come by, are up. I'd much rather her come up to me than That's me right. go to her. You look sad. Hey there. These cows. Check that out, the cows. Go up some steps. You get up into the no parlor. Cows out there in the back in the pasture, they, they still got to be uh, them out. They're going to have to go out and get them. We'll call them up. Hey, Willow. Hey, the happy cows. Oh. And happy cows are happy because there's not a lot of stress put on them. They don't hurry them up to do anything. Not like Kelly, how laid back she is. Laid back. Mama down there got a bad itch on her nose. So 
Vamos de campo cá, vai com os pés por dentro. A câmarinha. It's time to go into the store. So y'all in time. Every day they have always got a sample of some kind of cheese. Every time we're here, there's even times we get here in the route. Is there banana bread? No banana bread. Why not? It's right here. Banana walnut. I'm sorry, that's not correct. Are you lying to me? Mm -hmm. That makes some good French toast, man. Cinnamon chip. Where's that? The mini loaf. Good. Pepperoni roll up. Soap was actually made with happy cow milk. Um, it's heart made naturals is the people that make the soap. And they're here in Pelzer, South Carolina too. So the soap's made locally too. Yeah, we just got three bars last week, so we won't be getting that today. Good stuff. Yes, good stuff. Cheddar. 
I, uh, I stand corrected. Uh, the oldest cheese we see here is 12 years. 12 year white cheddar, 12 year white cheddar, and 12 year yellow cheddar. They got all kinds of cranberry, apricot, ginger, blueberry, green island, habanero jack, tomato basil. Smoked bacon. Monster. I think the smoking bacon would make a really good grilled cheese sandwich. Oh yeah, really. They got smoked provolone, mozzarella, parmesan. Oh yeah. Yummy. Put it on the bottom down there. Look, habanero ghost cheese. Thinking that's the habanero and ghost uh, pepper cheese. Cheese. Woo. Hot stuff. Horseradish. Smoke horse ranch. Any butter today? Oh. Butter ranch. Yeah. 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 Y
Oh, now they want a bite. We're going to have to go to Brewster's and get them ice cream. So, yeah, I'm going to sign off of here so that we can eat this ice cream. Yes. Yum. I head into the house. Yep. See y'all. Bye. I love coming through and seeing the cows. These cows are happy. Right, Mikey? Yep, they're fat and happy. They, they're pregnant. They bring them up here when they get close to cabin. So that way they can keep an eye on them. Ooh. They got them from uh, first calf heifers all the way up to experienced cows. Mikey makes a good cow. See y'all next week.